All right, we're gonna do some Grand Theft Auto today, and you can see I'm in my scuba suit. There's a reason for that. We're gonna do a G. Oh. Screw you, screw you, Lester. We're gonna do a G fret. Just a solo G fret, but G fret nonetheless. So I'm gonna grab my controller. So G G frets are. It's a race that was thought up by Bruffy1322, and there's more detail on his on his page. I would encourage you to go check that out. Um, essentially, it's a point-to-point -point race, and there's some gentleman's rules associated with it. And we'll kind of get into those as we're playing it. So this is, it started as a, hold on, started as just a standard point to point, and it sort of evolved from there, it's kind of become its own animal over the years, and there are stream records and world records, I think the current world record holder is Sarah Digitally, just because she's done it enough times and practiced it enough times and she is damn good at it at this point it's another channel to check out if you if you enjoy the race but otherwise yeah Bruffy and Sarah digitally um, exclusive from one another <laughs> So we start out on an island, we have to swim to the mainland. And then once we reach the mainland, we have to run to the highway to get a car. Now, conventional GP GTA race wisdom would say, oh, why don't you just respawn with your bike? Well, that's part of the gentleman's rules. Um, you can only respawn with your bike if you died. I'm gonna go into first person here. Fall down the bridge. And we're in first person underwater with the scuba suit because I don't know if you go faster. You seem to go faster that way, so. It's what all of the pros that players do, so that's what we're doing. Now, just to preface this, this is going to be painful for me. I have not ever done like an under 20 minute G fret. So, this should be a level of silly to watch. Now, usually you can pop up there, but we're just going to take the swim line, or attempt to take the swim line. Another thing I don't normally do, we're going to try it. And it helps if we don't surface. Surfacing takes the, uh, takes the time advantage away. But we're in first person, so we don't have to keep tapping the... In my case, the Xbox controller, I think it's... A? Yeah, just run, boy. Run. Looks like we need to go up this valley here. Another GTA race logic would say, oh, we need to grab a car here. No, you grab a car at the highway. Not here. You grab a car at the highway. Why did I stop? Run, boy, run. It's doing that every time I tap the stick there, so I'm just gonna stick to this. But. 
So we run to the highway, and then the first uh, the first checkpoint's at Davis Quartz. Second checkpoint is one of the parking ramps at the airport. And then after the airport, it's the top of Mount Chilead. So, <laughs> it is all over hell. Actually, I should have checked something. I don't have a parachute! I forgot to grab a parachute. So, two of the end race lines require the parachute. Can't do them because I forgot to go pick one up. So, now the adventure of trying to get a car on the highway. You didn't stop. You're not gonna. Oh, Phoenix. Phoenix is fine. It looks like there's bullets about too. I'll take a bullet. Hey, stop! That's fine. Let's get you down the field, rollways. He's not turning off. A bullet would be better than a phoenix. I guess ruiner is the, is the word. I always mess those two up because to me this looks like a like a Camaro or Firebird, which the Phoenix is meant to be a Firebird, I think. That bullet's still going. That's great. Oh, oh, are, are you a 9F? Yes, you're a 9F. One of the best cars for this. It's an all wheel drive sports car. The best car for it. They. Basically, you have to get the cars that come in traffic. So, it's rare to see an Infernus, but that's the best car to get, according to multitudes of test data. And I'm ruining this 9F already, but. Go, go, go. Should have been like halfway to the airport by now. But stop to stop to get stop to get a car, had some mishaps. That rear end is trashed. And yet anytime you see anytime you have a trashed rear end where one of the tires is cambered on 9F, you start to have all sorts of bouncy bouncy issues. And this is this is going to show itself pretty hard at some point, but if I need to swap out, I'll swap out. I just want to try to get a competitive time, which I'm not going to get because I don't have a parachute, but we're just going to roll with it. So Bullet is the, is a supercar, but as far as its lap time and top speed, it is actually slower than the 9F. And this isn't this isn't fully upgraded cars. This is just cars that occur in traffic. And usually on a stream, there's like 30 people trying to get a car on the highway. Your best bet is just grabbing something and getting away from people trying to steal the car that you're trying to steal, trying to steal your car. So, airport. And then the question of, how do you know where to go? 
watch the G-Fred videos, there's plenty of them. They run the gamut of lines from early days of the OG route up to Chiliad and the OG swim, ro swim route, the last line. And there's even a through the city to get to the the Chiliad, what they call hot lap route, which is driving up the side of Chiliad. Which you can do with quite a few of the cars, actually. And I'm I roughed this up, didn't I? Yeah, I roughed this up. I'm gonna blow up. I didn't blow up. That's amazing. Okay, roll her over. Come on. We need to get up there. Can we make the Can we make the jump? Certainly not that way. Okay, so. The question would be, do we do this, or do we, do, do we drive up the parking ramp instead? We're gonna try the jump again. It's gonna go poorly, I'm sure of it, but... Yeah, it went poorly because of the camber on the back wheels it didn't account for. Okay. Let's get up there. So, the hot lap line for getting to the top of the parking ramp is that jump. Coming out of the, the freeway ramp, I uh, back and got a little loose and I lost control a bit and tried to recover it. Didn't have enough speed to get up on top of the ramp. And the damage from that landing has cambered my rear wheels out and I didn't compensate for that enough. Yeah, I'm not gonna get onto that that upper ramp. Okay. So yeah, this is this is my typical state of 9F typical state of any vehicle when I'm doing G-Fred. I just trash them because I don't, I'm not a racer in GTA. I'm a grinder. So I don't know all the most efficient lines. You can give me the best supercar and I will completely ruin or ruin my own race because I don't know the lines. Don't know how to go into turns correctly and all that jazz, but Just look at the way this thing is tracking, even. It, it's... The rear end is pulling to the right. Pretty hard. I mean, this thing just looks like it's pointing to the left. But going straight. It is... It is a disaster. Completely. It's... It's so great. Alright, so we're gonna go up the... The hills line. Chiliad, and I'm hoping I can get a replacement 9F on that on that road. Because this thing is absolutely just jacked. So hard. Okay, so that that was an actual Phoenix. You look like a you cloquette. Jesus! Yeah, coquette. Coquette will be fine. That that 9F is just the way it's tracking, I don't think I'd ever get up Chiliad. Speaking of. So switching cars like this is a huge time sink probably waste five to ten seconds swapping into a new car and that's gonna be that's just hugely detrimental for a race same with missing that airport jump 
or just having a complete disaster on the highway, hitting a car and going over the median, you know. I've had several disasters in this to just let me know that I don't deserve to ever win a, a streamed GFRED, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep practicing. <laughs> And I just wanted to record this as a... So, this is someone who's been in a GFRED stream a couple of times. And... Shown unequivocally that he didn't deserve to be there at all. But part of... Part of GFRED is the... GFRED spirit, don't give up. So no matter how many times you die or how many mishaps you have, just keep trying. because there's only 30 people in the race and probably, you know, there's probably 200 people, 200 sus subscribers that want in on that race. Just for, just for the sake of being able to race in a G-Fred. I mean, it's not... It's not professional sports level of competitive, but it's it's something that I can I feel that I can compete at, and I will be completely disabused of that notion at some point. But right now, it's a well, I play a lot of Grand Theft, Grand Theft Auto. I can drive, so I'll give it a shot. I think it's is it down here. Is it this one. Probably not, but we'll try this. We'll try this route. This is not my normal route up Chiliad, so bear with me. Go up this way, right? So this is another reason for grabbing a 9F or another all-wheel drive vehicle because there are certain cars that would never be able to do this at all. And there is another line up Chiliad just a little further south that's a little bit more forgiving but that one is like that's usually the way down and it's actually the faster way up to if you can get your hands on a 9F or an Infernus or I think a Feltzer might be able to do it too if a Feltzer is entirely rear wheel drive so whereas a 9F and Infernus are both all wheel drive and that is a oh that didn't turn into a disaster like I was expecting Uh, that's not the right way. That's the right way. Okay. So back to that same... Gonna take the same way down that we took up. If I can keep this poor thing under control. And it was over here. Alright, so... Big thing here is keep your wheels on the ground as much as possible because you're not gonna... <laughs> I mean, honestly, it sounds entirely reasonable, but you're not gonna have much control while you're in the air. my best chili I'd sent ever. Okay, so we expect a train here as well. Yep, there's a train. Safety train. Alright. 
So I think that was my best chili egg descent ever. But having said that, with the flaws that I've had in this race, the world record is already already passed. World record is like 16 something. And there's even like a a 17 something stream record. And I'm not going to finish this in the 2 minutes for standard like 19 minute stream record. So that's that's literally how competitive it's gotten is most of the time on stream you're going to have a 20 minute G thread. There are cases of there being, you know, 19 minute G-Freds. But that's, you know, standard time is about 20, about 20 minutes. You know, and if, you, if you're really lucky on the highway and get a 9F or an Infernus right away on the highway and no one bothers you about it, you can potentially get a subs sub 17 minute G Fred or sub seven, sub 17 minute time I'm not gonna come anywhere near that because I don't have a parachute for the last line so I'll have to swim that okay that's that that's a see that's a that's a disaster right there that was a I did I don't know what I'm doing here I have no right to be here there we go so this sort of time would probably put me outside of the top five most of the time. Now if it's a particularly like rainy G Fred or something like that, if I get this sort of time on a rainy G Fred, maybe I can get into the top five. But this performance is Quite abysmal for the current state of stream G Freds with Ruffy. Okay, whoop, over the trees. Yes! Am I gonna hit trees on the way down here? No. I'm gonna freaking flip it. Of course I am. Please stop. Thank you. Thank you, I don't want to respawn. I feel like that's a terrible idea. And that landing bounce, I need to figure out how to stop that because that has just cambered my rear my rear end. If I hadn't already done that myself. Go up over here and go through the base. Go through Zenkudo. Oh, we're gonna just go up and over the hill, that's fine. Come on. Don't explode, thank you. swim line is up the highway past the bridge and see my rear wheels don't have the suspension travel anymore so my rear end is real bouncy any little bump is just gonna pick that rear end up and I don't know how to get out of here we're gonna fly on the windshield right there fly in the window so So I'll have to take the OG swim line to get to the island. But normally there's a way up the mountain here where you can launch the car and pull a chute. There's a ramp right here that you can launch the car and pull a chute, but I don't have a chute because I forgot to grab one. Wow. 
Listen, is not liking anything off-road right now. Okay, we need to go just up here, right? Yeah, this thing is just... Take that off-road traction loss and just increase it to, like, 11. That's kind of what we're at right now. That rear end is just hanging up on anything it can. And that was... That could have been the death of me. If I had died there, I would have... Go, I would have picked up a parachute at Zancudo from a jet. Okay, first person. Let's rock. First person is not doing me any favors here. Dive, man, dive. And I don't know the best way up the island either, so this has got to be another comedy of errors, I'm sure. I think it's, I think it's right there. I think that's the best way up the island right there. Oh, it's a buoy! I'm like, what the, what is that floating in the water there? Of course it's a buoy, why wouldn't it be? Please. So 20 minute, 24 minute G fret is probably like it's in it's just inside of not DNFing. It's probably like a thirteenth or fourteenth. So yeah, that's a G-Fred from a noob, ha ha ha.